Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how you can model this recessed ceiling with lighting. So this is quite popular these days and it's quite inexpensive to make. So let's learn how to model that in Revit so we can include it in further projects. So here I'm just going to go to new project architectural template. And before I get started, I'm just going to set the units. And if you could like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you enjoy tutorials like these, please subscribe. So first I'm going to add a floor. So I'm just going to add a simple floor here. Maybe center it a bit, go OK. And now let's add walls to that. So I'm just going to go wall, generic 300. And here I'm going to go with finish face exterior. So that's location line. So now when I go and draw a rectangle, you can see it draws it on the outer basically exterior line. Now, once that is drawn, I can go into ceiling plan and now I can model a ceiling. So I'm just going to go here to ceiling and for the height, I'm going to go 300 centimeters, go apply and place it. Now I'm going to go escape and go into ceiling again. And now I'm going to go to sketch ceiling and here for the height I'm going to go with 290. So 290 centimeters. So it's offset by 10 centimeters and I'm going to go with a rectangle. So this is the outer part and then for the offset let's go with I don't know 60 centimeters and place it like so. Okay, once that is completed, you just go finish edit mode. And then if I go into level one, and let's just create a camera so we can see what we're working with. So this is basically how our ceiling looks like we have this recessed part and we have the regular ceiling above that. Now we need to add some lighting into this. So to do that, I'm just going to go to ceiling plan and now first I'm going to add a diffuser over here that's basically gonna s prevent from seeing the actual light bulbs that or LED lighting that goes into the recessed ceiling so I'm just going to go component model in place and here I'm just going to go with the generic model okay and go create extrusion and I'm going to choose a rectangle with an offset of Let's go five centimeters and let's create this here offset. And now let's go with, I don't know, as two centimeters and create basically this diffuser wall. So now if I go into south elevation and if I go into wireframe, when we finish that, now we can pull this in place and place it between these two recessed or basically these two ceilings and now let's just add the material so this is a diffuser so we need a transparent material so I'm just going to go with plastic and let's see do we have some transparent plastics over here so we have this sand plastic I don't know really what that is but it is transparent so I'm going to go to appearance and you can see here it is transparent and I'm just going to go and add a white tint over that so it will look like that and I'm just going to go apply OK so we have our diffuser in place and I'm just going to go to finish model and that's it so now when we go into 3D here's the, diff the diffuser is basically here and now we need a light source now you might be tempted to basically add a light or luminance material to this to put place it as light source but as you can see in this render I did over here it doesn't look right it doesn't really cast any light it only lights up this material so that doesn't look right so you do need to add an actual light source and for that I'm going to go here to new and new family I'm just going to go back a bit to go to metric and here just find lighting family and again you might be tempted to use a linear linear lighting fixture but 
this doesn't always look right so I just usually use the metric lighting fixture the generic one so I'm just going to go to open and here we have that I'm going to go to front elevation and for this height as you can remember uh, our ceiling is at 300 so I'm just going to place this at I don't know 297 or 298 perhaps better okay this is in millimeters so let's just add a zero okay so this is at that so this is pretty much finished all the work we need to do for this but uh, you really need to see this if I load this into the project I won't really see this circle and I won't know where my lighting fixture is so we need to add some geometry just to see it in place so I'm just going to go here to ceiling plan and go create extrusion and just a simple circle will do finish that go into front elevation and we can make it a lot smaller than this so just make it look like this just to have something to select and move around in the project okay now this is finished and if you go here into family types you can actually change this maybe make it brighter but I don't know let's let's put it at 15 for now go apply okay and for the color yeah this is okay and now let's go load in the project and now you can just place it anywhere it doesn't really matter let's just place it over there and now if we go into south elevation because it's at wireframe we can see where our lighting fixture is so I'm just going to place it like so so this is basically what we use to see where our family is and the lighting source is just underneath so it's somewhere over here so once that is completed maybe pull it up a bit now we can go into ceiling plan so go ceiling plan one and choose wireframe basically to see where our lighting fixture is and I'm just going to place it over here like so and create an array so just go here array or AR I'm going to be using a linear array and for the number I'm just going to leave it at 10 for now and here I'm going to choose last and let's pull it out all the way to the other side and you can see 10 is not nearly enough so let's try 100 yeah that looks about right now you can put your mouse over it hit tab now you can select it again and then you can copy it maybe copy it over here and then again use the array last let's put a hundred over here and then let's pull it out you don't have to go all the way to the other side because the camera is only in this corner of the room so it will kinda only see this portion of the ceiling so I'm going to copy this one as well and then again use the array here put it at a hundred now this might not seem quite efficient but it is actually the best way to make this recess ceiling with light it looks best this way and now once we have finished that let's render it to see what we have actually created so go double R for render and then for settings I suggest you go either medium or high for this because lighting does require some processing power so at high it will look best or even at best but that takes too much time for resolution I'm going to leave it at the screen and for the lighting I'm going to go interior artificial only because we don't really have any walls and that's it so let's hit render and here you go so here we have a rendering of our recessed ceiling with light in it thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any comments or suggestions for further tutorials i suggest you leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching have a nice day